earn some kind of ticket. The village people have come to Accra. How they found our residence, I have no idea. Giving the young man the impression that you have already won. The whole community, the whole constituency. Hey. Women have something men don't have. Women have intuition. And this intuition is coupled with the Holy Ghost. They are very powerful. Darling, please. You've toiled, you toiled so much. I know how much you suffered in Nigeria. And thereafter, you proceeded to the United States. And uh, why are we going to dissipate, dissipate the monies and the, the wealth God has given us through party politics? He wouldn't budge. I didn't even know that he had mortgaged. He had taken a loan to sponsor his political campaign. Security, surety, our house. The house we're living in. Yeah, boo boo. <laughs> Let's rock on Mr. Estate Anansu, you know. Fifthly. When Susu Henry. And now he's come to his senses. I told you, darling. Too late! But if he had consulted somebody, I say, these disagreements will follow you wherever you are. At every point, at every stage in the relationship. You need mature knowledge of God. It's not as if my wife were controlling me. It's not as if if I give in to her, she would seem to have won. Tell me, and I, I, I respond to me, no winner, no loser. No winner. In matters of family, especially between husband and wife, there's nothing like a loser, nothing like a winner. We both win or lose together. We both swim or sink together. That's it. And then if you have a account, then account or account, here account. Now account, you know, account. You know, account. Amen. 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 Are you with me, people? How many members of the extended family can we sponsor? We've got to sit down and agree. All your five sisters, each of them wants you to sponsor one of her, her son in, in a tertiary institution. We can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. That is the bone of contention. Are you alive? Alive? Yes. Personal hygiene. Come on, four. This man owns an air conditioned room. We have an air conditioned room. He owns an air conditioned house. The office in town is fully air conditioned. So he cannot understand. Why he took a bath, he had a clean bath this morning from the bathroom into an air-conditioned car. Spent the whole day in an air-conditioned office. Rode back home in an air-conditioned car. The auntie said, the second bath for what? Special announcement. The Obano can want to ask them. Fans act in hand, the hand, and now too between the balls and the thigh. Here, nehuya, nehuya. You realize the lady is telling the truth. 
I don't know why this should be an issue. Young man, agree with your wife. In Jesus' name. Nowhere cool. What the can can you cool be bad? Ah! And yes, bam, papa. And the other thing I found, our room and somebody I be pray. Now, sir, and you made disagreement, dear. You are capable of striking a deal or arriving at a compromise. But sometimes you feel so proud. Mini Bema, Mini Bema. You don't have to announce that you are the man. If you are playing the role of a man properly, your wife will know. Let me touch on a very sensitive issue. We are married. We've been married for seven years, running into ten years. No child. And in Ghana, that's a big, big issue. If you know of any childless marriage, but they want to, if the Bible exhorts Christians to bear each other's burdens, help to carry each other's burden. Darling, I've been to the hospital for the past two years. The doctor wants to see you. He wouldn't go. This is the bone of contention. One wants to seek a solution from the herbalist. The other one says, no, let's go for medical. Medical. Problem, problem. And some people have been treating infertility for five, six years. I know especially Ghanaian men tremble and shudder and are so reluctant to go for adoption. Say adoption. adoption. You know what adoption means? We can go to Osu Children's Home. We can go to Kalebu Hostel. We can go to um, mm -hmm, one of these, these uh, orphanages. You have the option. Three months old children. Six months old. If you want to pick a tall one, the nurses will advise you at three months, if she's that tall, he promises to be very tall. You can select. Three months old, if she will be dark-skinned, is already forming. Everything shows. If you want someone with a well-formed nose, you can select. But the child between you and your wife, you have, you have no idea what you are carrying. And children are very often so disappointing. Your wife has a well-formed nose. Why wouldn't you pick my wife's nose? Called family baby. <laughs> That's it. So those who go for abortion, what is it, adoption, you are a better place. You have a choice. And many Ghanaians say, no, no. Artificial insemination? No! How? Okay? Special announcement. Jesus Christ is the only begotten son of God. True or false? Every Christian is an adopted child. Every Christian is an adopted child. But what troubles me, what worries me is that if I'm an adopted child and it has become necessary for my wife and I to adopt a child, what's the big deal about that? Uh, anything wrong? Your woman wants to shower 
all the love and feminine tenderness on a baby I can claim to be my own, legally mine. That may be the best, the most expensive Christmas gift you can offer your wife here. Or elsewhere, those of you who are listening to me out there. Mm -hmm. Oh God of heaven, your favor comes in different forms. Some of us, as for the academic, as for money, no, no. But me pe baba ako pe achi cheme yure ema ema ya kamre ni kasa alternative. Go for that. I'm pleading with you, especially the men. Church, are you with me? Yemu bi kasa dodo. Na eure yehu ne yensen. Do you have to see me pregnant? This thing bulging up to the ninth before you see my baby. How did I come by that baby? Is it your business? My bread drew. I go places, I go places, and I wait till school, school hours are over. Wait if there are any children coming home before I talk about children issues with my hostess. I've embarrassed two couples some time ago. I've taken a vow never to be too quick in advancing suggestions. What business of yours is it to announce to that little girl of seven that that woman is not your biological mother? Cabra Nikasa, don't tell them if they don't have to know. Cabra Fo? Don't tell them. Don't tell them. If they don't have to know. You have no idea the emotional trauma you're subjecting that little girl to. She comes back home weeping. Mommy, is it true that you're not my mother? Who told you? I am, you are my child, my daughter. In every way. He planted ideas into this young man. You speak too freely. This thing is a lump of flesh. It has a little cartilage, veins and arteries running through. It has no bone. It has no bone in it. But this thing can inflict a wound. Not even Mike Tyson's blow can inflict on you. I'm a school teacher. I have a way of... Uh, 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 can you feel it? Any bone? Now this thing, if you are unable to control this thing, go for adoption. I'm pleading with the congregation. It's none of your business to announce that child. When she grows up and gets to a point when she begins asking questions. Mom, dad, it may become necessary for you to sit her down. Assure and reassure her. When the time comes, break the news to her. She will cry, you will cry. But if you've been treating him or her like a biological child, the fruit of your womb, if one her affection so much so, she will never disown you. Bless you. Hey, bless you all. Go for adoption. I say go for adoption. 
we are married. After death, there can still be confusion. Even after we die, there can still be disagreement between your family and the widow and children. Why don't you prepare a will? Huh? It's another thing Ghanaians hate to do. This time you are alive? Young man, go ahead and prepare. You know your family are greedy. And they, in spite of PNBC law 111, what have you, they would twist, turn, bribe their way into robbing your poor widow and children of property. Put things on paper. You don't have to own so much to prepare a will. If I ever build a house, it will belong to nya, nya, nya. If you don't build and you die, <laughs> rest in peace. <laughs> but if you build, oh yeah, a will can be revised at any time. Any time you can. Many times, so many times you can. Prepare a will. Man, many a will, man, no come You know why men die very often ahead of a woman. Sex can kill. When you, you, uh, you get to the climax and begin panting, <laughs> so don't die before your time. But by all means, in order to forestall any uh, legal litigation, something after your death, why don't you put thing, something on paper? May God bless you. Oh, bless you. When there's this agreement, there's no sense in insulting and assaulting each other. Cambodian insult. Insult. Assault. assault. I'll beat the nonsense out of her. The nonsense is not here. So if you hit your wife's cheeks and so on, the nonsense will pop up. It's not true. A wife beater. A member of Cedar Mountain Chapel. She, she, she. She. And let me tell you something I know. Are you with me? Yes. There was this woman who had taken a vow never to as much as pinch a husband, not to mention giving him any blow. But that young man Although strongly built, we time and again hit the wife. One day, one day. In the bedroom, he was just about hitting when the lady blocked the blow with the left and decided to dish two hefty ones to the man. Pa, pa, the man was down. The woman is heavy. She is sat on the man down. You see what I've done to you? I had taken a vow long ago never to treat a man I call my husband this way. You've embarrassed me to me. But thanks to God for the location in our bedroom. Next time, 
it will happen in the full view of the children in the sitting room. Darling, what to say? Now he knows you can beat me. One of these days. She won't block it. Oh, to blow Nankasa. Ebe you wash it from Yamen at home. Mamma, yes, sir. Mamma, I'll borrow that wind. Nimmy answer. Yamen Mamma. My dear people, we can go on and on. But it may not help those who go to work tomorrow. So we've got to get to a point. But let me give you a few more. Are you with me, people? Yes. Avoid complications. Come, Avoid complications. Don't make statements, derogatory statements about your in-laws. If it's your spouse who has offended you, if you disagree on something, ah, see a kind. That's something for the other. Can some man marry a woman? Me, I'm a something. Me, I'm a marry a woman. Oh, Ola, Ola. Your mother-in-law may not be roped into this issue. A time is coming when even visiting your husband's hometown becomes a problem to you. Never do it. Bless you. Bless you. Amen. I will never go out with her again. I will not eat her food. Hey! Sanctions against South Africa have been lifted long ago. <laughs> Sanctions against you. Right? <laughs> It will help the two of you. Yamin Shramo Pa. Hey, Oh, God of heaven. I'm an old student of Prempe College. My son will have to go to Prempe. We're living in Accra. What is there to choose between Presec and Prempe College? Achimota School and Prempe College. We can pay regular visits to this young man. Obeko Prempe. Man, put your cast down. Let your lady put her cast down. Brainstorm. Come, Brainstorm. It's not just an argument. We're presenting our sides of the issue courteously and honorably. It's not a matter of wanting to win a case, but the common good of the family is at stake. That's the brainstorming. That's the spirit. Mr. Abakwa Prempe. I mean, we are Another woman is calling for a Christmas gift. Our own house, family house, is about 75% complete. On the Dodua Road. A woman is pleading with her husband, darling, let's spend Christmas. 2018 Christmas in our own home. We've lived in rented premises for far too long. But it has to be completed. With whom are you competing? With whom are you competing? We visited a brother's home. Oh, Charlie, soft finishing and all of that. We're not competing with anybody. We you keke. We you keke. There's nothing like living in your own house, my brother. Offer your wife that beautiful, beautiful Christmas gift. 
You know the conflict and the disarmament. They, they, run, they run through the relationship. I want to watch the Manchester United and uh, Chelsea match. My wife wants to watch Kunkumbaja. <laughs> we have only one television set. Is this amazing? We yaka kana mubu efu din din din. Kunkumbaja di ana anya film. Whether Chelsea wins or Man U wins, what impact does it have on your your marriage? When keke, any I can talk about. Value your family. Hold this in very high esteem and be ready to sacrifice almost everything to maintain it. Go and be that responsible family man in Jesus' name. I'm giving you two, two, two formula. I, I, I want, I want, I want. I wouldn't express it and we close. Are you with me? I've already given you some. Let me add only two. Number one, nowhere cool. Number one. Nowhere. Number one. Chia dang. Baby, I know it. Panich refia ho enjoy. A management. And you manipulating. You only manage. Nowhere. Number two. Eh, ya, nan so. The ace who know you didn't tell me why you went to the No, me say, eh, ya, nan so. And young one, one. Whereas things might be happening elsewhere, but the people have determined. To live together all the same. Our family, you know, I'm just saying, my worry, no, my worry, my worry, ye. The next one, hoping against hope. Come, bravo. This man, he will never give up chasing women. It means you've given up on him. He will never, he will never. Come never say never. Never say never. Never say never. never, say never. never say my wife will never accept my people. Never say my husband will never do well. He's lived in the US. He's enjoyed a big pay packet in dollars. Even then, he didn't build a house. Now that we are in Ghana, how much does he end at the end of the month? This man will never be able to put up a house. Don't write him off. A young woman woke up in the early in the morning and announced the, to the wife, Darling, I had a dream. I was preaching. Congregation, Nanu and see, Nayer said, Whoa! So to me, this software made the Pope. Made the Pope. Made the Pope. So that as far as the wife is concerned, you will never rise above a deacon. <laughs> but if you do well to prophesy into your marriage, prophesy good things unto your husband, prophesy good things unto your children, they will come to pass. I don't have to wear a long beard to be a prophet. I'm a prophet in my own right. And you are a prophet. You are a prophetess. What you prophesy is bound to be fulfilled. Prophesy good things. Wish him well. Above all, pray very, very hard that God causes the good things you're praying to come to pass. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. 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 I'm taking my.